everyone, this is Sparks, and I'm going to be showing you how to install data packs into your Minecraft world. Whether this is a survival world you've been playing for a while or you've just created, these are the steps you need to take in order to get data packs working on your, on your world. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to uh, the website where you're going to download your data pack. gm4.co is our website where you can download all of our modules from, and you can choose from a range of survival modules. If we click on the module that we want to download, there is a download selection on the left. Choose the Minecraft version that you are using currently, and it'll download it to your computer. Now that we have this module downloaded to our computer, we can go back into our Minecraft world, and uh, if you want to find the uh, data packs folder, the easiest way to do this is to go into your options uh, to resource packs, click open resource pack folder, which will open uh, the resource pack folder for that world. Then you can go back down into the .minecraft folder, go to saves, and then find the world by name that you're using. We're using the installing data packs world right now. So we can open this up and there is a folder called data packs. If you open this up, there's nothing here right now. So what we want to do is we take our downloaded Minecraft world that we got just now and just drop it in here and we're done. Now we can go back to Minecraft, click done. And all you need to do here is type slash reload. You can also log out and log back in uh, with game mode four there is a specific installing message you will get. So this is the first time we've used game mode 4, so it initializes and then tells us which modules it has installed and that it is finished. If we reload again, you'll see that it checks for updates but doesn't find any. Uh, you can drop as many data packs as you'd like into that folder, and anytime you log out of the world and back in, uh, it will install the new ones, or if you type slash reload. If you're using a Minecraft server, you can um, also just upload it via FTP if your server supports that, or if you're using Realms, you can download the world to your computer add the data packs to the data pack folder as I showed you here, then re-upload it to Realms. You won't lose any player data or save data from your Realms worlds. And that's about it. Simple. Thanks for watching. Have fun.